Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're making a nab lap. About a year ago, I posted a video about how to make a nav light. This one right here. I used an LED brake light, a piece of PVC, and some wire. It's very cheap and it's a really bright light when compared to some of the lights on the market. I wanted something safer where boats could see me at night because I ain't no fan of getting run over by no boat. Today, I'm gonna make a light that I made after this one. Has the same LED brake light in the top, but I added some strip light down it with a switch where you could cut it on and cut it off. This light here works great. It's plenty bright. You can actually see a little bit with it, but it doesn't attract bugs. The LED strip light on today's light will attract bugs. It's very bright, but that's why the switch is on it. I made a light like this before and I gave it to a friend of mine, which most y'all know, he used it so he could film with his GoPro with it. Because as most of y'all know, GoPros don't work in the dark. He ended up loving the light, so today I'm going to show y'all how to make one. Okay guys, what you'll need for this project, you'll need a pair of wire strippers. You can get the cheap kind or, or you can get the automatic kind, doesn't matter. You'll need some PVC glue for the PVC of course. I got some all-purpose 527 glue, but silicone works just fine. You'll need some wire. I think this is 18 gauge or 14 gauge. And you don't have to have red and black. It makes it easier, but you can always mark your wires. I've got two reducers that go from half inch to three quarter inch. And of course, I've got half inch and three quarter inch PVC. You need an 18 inch piece of three quarter. And I've got five foot of a half inch. And make sure you get schedule 40. That's important. The schedule 40, your brake light, fits into it perfect. Kind of like this. This is schedule 40. The brake light slides right into it. You need a half inch T. All three sides need to be half inch. Well, I found this toggle switch and you really need to pick up one of these and I'll leave a link to it below. I got it off of Amazon. Two of them for $2. They're not they're like a dollar a piece. The reason you need this switch is because this switch, it fits right into a half inch connector. So it makes this project a lot simpler. You'll need a soldering iron, some solder, and some flux. And you'll need some LED strip light for the main bright light. I wanted to show you the way I wired this light. It goes from the battery, we'll run two wires in through this hole. When it gets inside, you want to split the negative wire to two wires. Just solder one wire into two wires. This positive wire, you'll run it all the way through to the end of the light. And you'll split it at the top to your nav light and to your strip light. This wire you split, the negative wire, this wire, you'll cut it, run it out this hole, and you connect it into your switch so you have a break. So you can cut the light on and off. The other part, you'll run it up and connect it to your strip light. The solid wire that you don't cut, the negative, you'll run it all the way up to your nav light. And that's basically the way the light's wired. Okay guys, here's the bottom of the nav light. This is where my wire runs in from a box hooks to my battery. I covered it with some shrink wrap to keep them together. It runs in here. 
It's going to come up here. Right in here is where it splits the two ground wires. One positive. One of the ground wires are going to come out here and go to the switch. The ground wire you're going to split and send to the switch, I mark it with a piece of tape so I know which one it is when I start wiring my lights up later. Now I'm going to take these wires, thread them through another piece of PVC. It's just a plain piece. It's about 27 inches long. I put me a couple clips on so I can hook it to my switch. I crimped them shut and soldered them. The solder might be overkill, but I won't have to worry about them coming loose later. Okay, we got our switch installed now. Got the wires run up to here. Now we're gonna put the top part on for the strip light that cuts on and off. Okay, I got my first half inch to three quarter fitting on. Now I'm gonna take my three quarter inch pipe, cut about 18 inches of it and put it in. Put my other three quarter to half inch fitting and then stop there and wire up my first light. Okay, up here at the top, right here where the strip light's going, we're gonna drill a hole so we can feed our wires through, and then we'll put our light on. Okay, now we have the strip light on. And up here where it, where it comes in, and down here where it ended up, I put extra super glue just to make sure it holds good. About every three inches or so I put super glue. You don't really want to trust that he's a backing on this stuff. Okay, now our pins are gone. We ground those off. Now the light fits right in there. Next we're gonna solder it up. Okay, I got one of my wires soldered on. Try to give you a look at that. No matter how smooth you get your solder job, it's going to want to hit on the PVC. I'll show you a little trick I learned that I didn't put in the last video, which I should have. But I'll show you that right quick. You take a drill and you just wall her away one wall of the PVC down until it fits. Okay, I got my negative wire soldered to the side. I got my positive wire soldered to the bottom. On the positive wire on the bottom... Hook it to both connectors if there's two. On the side, just try to keep it as thin as you can. And of course, wire down your pipe if you have to. You can see how it's not round anymore, but it fits. Okay, as you can see, I went in and put the nav light in. I put some glue on it, wiped away the excess, and stripped the wires down. We got our nav light ready to wire up. Okay, so I got the positives. All three positives are hooked together. I've got the nav light hooked straight to the negative battery post. And I've got the strip light hooked through the switch. That's your breaker that makes it cut on and off. After I solder these and cover them up with some heat shrinking tube, the hardest part will be stuffing them back down in there so I can glue this on. Alright guys, I always show this acetone because before you paint something, you want to clean it so the paint sticks good. Most people know that. But you don't have to use acetone, it's pretty aggressive. You can use denatured alcohol. It works just as good and it's not quite as aggressive. On the first Navlight video I did, a lot of people left comments and asked if I put something over the light to protect it from water. I'm a big fan of fishing at night, on a kayak, on a boat, doesn't matter. But I'm not a big fan of fishing at night on a kayak in the rain. So I didn't give a lot of thought to covering up the light, making it waterproof. But since so many people asked that on the last video, I got to looking around trying to figure something out. You see this? You can get this anywhere. Advanced Auto, Walmart, it's just regular old armor off. You see this? You take this little cap off of the armor all, you really couldn't ask for a better fit. But this light here is waterproof. 
And now this light here is waterproof as well. I drilled these four holes, these two and these two, on the back of the box. And that's how I mount my nav light. When you get your tie straps in, leave them kind of loose and looped. Then you set your nav light in through the tie straps. You pull the tie straps tight and it's locked down pretty good. That works really good to hold your nav light on. Okay guys, we got the nav light hooked up to the battery. Put it in our kayak box. You see how the nav light stays on? The nav light stays on to keep you from getting run over by a boat. So you want that wired to where it don't go off. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the dark. It's daytime, but the lights are out. This is what the building looks like with no lights on. Now I'm gonna plug in the nav light and we'll see how much light it puts out. Okay, this is with the nav light on. But you see how you can see with just that nav light? And that nav light won't draw bugs, I'm telling you. I've used it plenty of times. But it'll keep you from getting run over by a boat. And you can see with it. But let's say you're tying on a hook or you want to film something and you need more light. The switch is right here. We're going to see what that looks like. You flip that switch. And this is what it looks like. You can see everything. Looks like the dang sun come up on the lake. Hey, if you aren't yet, click subscribe. I come out with new DIYs every week. Some of them's pretty cool. Can save you money. And if you are subscribed, if there's something you'd like to see, leave it in the comment box and I'll figure out a way to make it. I'll see you next time.